our lives have followed a long path. But eventually, all roads reach their end. 5.79 Celsius. Physical movement or brain function not detected. Subject status stable. Dagger still stuck in the sheath. Inspection 481 complete. <sighs> Requesting a higher power outlay for the isolation chamber to prevent any further outages. What's that? Security breach. Security breach! <laughs> It's good to see another face. I thought I was on my own. And you're a metahuman, too. I don't know who you are, but I know what you are. You awakened at the cradle. And that's something only a metahuman could do. You've lost your memory. Do you remember who you are? It must have been that fluctuation just now. It trapped me in the cradle. It could have robbed you of your memories. You can call me V. It seems that our interests are aligned, metahuman. This place is called a monolith. Rosetta uses this place to secure deviations and perform experiments on them. <sighs> I wasn't expecting this many deviants, though. Ah. 
I came to secure a deviation. A paper butterfly. But I think something must have scared it. Right now, though, we need to move. I can show you the way out of this place, but only if you help me complete my mission first. All right? All you have to do is listen to what I tell you. I'll be right here in the cradle. Now, let's go. with stardust. It's called a deviant. Our world has been overrun with deviants ever since Starfall. Ordinary humans can't take high levels of stardust exposure. When they do, they end up just like that thing. If you're a metahuman, you should be fine. In fact, if the conditions are right, you might even be able to use stardust to advantage. My butterfly, it's flying. Yes, your first deviation. And look how gentle it is. I remember my name now. It's Mitsuko. It means father, child of light, and everyone else. It's my first creation. They're gone. I will create more. But it was all my fault. We need something powerful to challenge the evolutionists. And I think I finally found it. You. Hey, we can secure other deviations. We can use them to forge a new path and bring about true evolution. This will be the Mayflies mission. This is why we'll fight. Mayflies? That's right. Mayflies. Small, yet invincible. Humanity may seem puny now, but we'll prove we can endure. Reach out your left hand, and see if you can feel the rhythm of it. Then, try and secure it.
glass and look what I found. A meta. Only just woken up. They were kind enough to activate the cradle and set me free. Thank you, meta-human. Your help means a lot to me. You can call me Mitsuko. I used to be a meta-human as well. Rosetta did all kinds of experiments on me. That is, until V saved me. Mitsuko is a very special meta. She can sense even the tiniest fluctuations in the Stardust. It's thanks to her that I was able to take refuge in this place after Starfall. You're safe here. Yes. The butterfly is an emissary of sorts. I wanted it to help rescue other metas. The recent fluctuation must have startled it. The important thing right now is to secure it and ensure its safety. See that thing in the center of the room? It's a device for securing deviations. This makes them more useful and safer to be around. Butterfly is recovered. I think it likes you. Deviations can be very dangerous if not taken care of. They can radiate stardust, which can lead to all kinds of unpredictable consequences. And this is why we created the Mayflies. We make cradles and securement units to keep deviations contained. We're finding ways for humans and deviations to live in harmony. This is our best chance of cleaning up Rosetta's mess. No one's exactly sure what they are. Just that they're not bound by the physical laws of our world. They came from another dimension. Something we call rift space. When deviations get stressed, they release stardust. We think this brings our world and rift space closer together. Sometimes, it becomes possible to pass between the two planes of existence. And when that happens, all hell breaks loose. We believe that's what caused Starfall. Some deviations are friendly, like the butterfly. But others, like the ones inside monoliths, are extremely dangerous. It's not practical to secure all of them. But if we can learn more about them, maybe we can find ways to live alongside them. That's the goal. You must be prepared. The stardust just keeps spreading, and we aren't sure why. Be careful. That must be a siren. Shit, it must have gotten through. Come on, Meta. A deviation from another world just entered this space, and it won't go down without a fight. Take the butterfly with you. It can help.
This siren. So strong. Summon the butterfly. It will fight alongside you. Now you'll see for yourself what it's capable of. Escaped. That was a difficult fight. Just driving it away was enough. And it's all thanks to you, Meta, for saving us. You're tougher than you look. That's twice now you saved me. Yes. Mitsuko created this rift space. A refuge from the dangers of the physical world. Or so we thought. Do you think that deviation will come back? What if it returns with greater disruptions? It's possible. We can't just sit here and wait, though. Meta, will you go back to the physical world with me? Take the butterfly with you. Put it in your cradle. That way, I can lend you some of my strength. Hopefully, we'll meet again one day. When the stardust is stable enough, it looks like this is goodbye. Good luck, Meta. Before you go, if you have any questions, I can try and answer them for you. Good luck, Meta. that 20 years after starfall and the world is still infested with stardust it looks like the monoliths here have been reactivated too they might hold the key to all the stardust pollution
now that we've made it. Let's set up a territory. <laughs> 